Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, O, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Ow, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Ow, what's up, babies? What's up, Saggy babies? What's popping? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in this transformative ass energy? Only way to go is four, bitch. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Blue Head, this first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful channel here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Another beautiful reader. It's a bunch of them. Okay? Also, thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the donations, the readings, the love. Thank you, Saggy Babies. Y'all know y'all my booze. Act like you know. Do you know? <laughs> if you're a returning subscriber, hey family, uh, what's popping? <laughs> if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss. We need that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss, okay? We love, we cry sometimes, we share, we grow, we enlighten. Posy vibes only over here, all right? This message is not going to resonate with everybody. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. This will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh, okay. These messages will be from October the 30th until November the 15th, okay? I wasn't able to do a mid-month for y'all. Y'all know I'm moving to a whole other state. Hey, it's shit to do, all right? So, if you need personal, hit me up. Let's get it. All right. Um, I'm trying to see if I missed out on any other announcements. No, Sag, I don't think so. Hey, booze. Hey, let's get it. All right. So we're going to start off with your intuitive messages first. What I picked up on you guys while channeling um, your energy. OK, so for uh, from October 30th to November the 15th, you guys, I got major prosperity. Yes. I also got stalker reunions, creativity, compassion. Past life, spiritual teacher, unexpected travel, new home, cohabitat, soul contract, password protected, timeline lapse, philosopher, catalyst, karmic endings, manipulation, cleanse, love spells, vessel, endings, envy, detox, Silent moves, spiritually protected, movement forward, karmic returns. All right? So Sagittarius, let's talk about it. All right? All right. Let's put it right here for right now. Okay. Overall energy around the reading, you guys got the death card. <laughs> Let me know you guys are in this major transformative energy. For some of you all, there is this sense of resurrecting a family situation, something that you thought was dead, 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 dead. That somebody wants to live again. They want to live again. And they want Sagittarius to let them know, Sag. Or they want, they want Sag to let them know, hey, we can live again. For some of you all, this is about something being resurrected or someone, or I, I feel like these have, I heard karmic returns. So this has to do with karmic returns. Um, to either figure out if you're going to like let that shit go or continue pushing forward as far as your growth, okay? For some of you all, somebody could have left you a day. I'm hearing somebody could have left a page, but they're coming back king, okay? Angel message that you guys got for the month was clear cognizance. Archangel Uriel, pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered. Prayers. For some of you all, you're inheriting, you're inheriting new spiritual gifts, okay? Others of you are being guided by a female, a prominent female figure. This could be a sister, mother, or a grandmother. I feel more so matriarchal, okay? For some of you during this time, you may be dreaming about sacred geometric symbols, and they are tied to past lives for you. For some of you all, you do have some type of... Um, some of you all have roots when it comes to the ancestors of or the, being the descendants of like... I'm hearing African royalty. Okay. For others of you, this has to do with some type of Egyptian background as well. Some of you could also be, um, some of you also could be getting into like the Dominican, the Dominican deities as well. For some of you all, this has to do with expression. Okay. So I definitely feel like for some of you, there's this need to express yourself. 
your your confirmation for some of you all will come in the form of a rainbow for others of you it will come in the form of winged animals i feel like this is going to be my dragonflies my butterflies cardinal birds i'm hearing also the eagle or the hawk okay for some of you you're being divinely guided to resurrect the situation And for some of you all, you're being divinely guided to leave a situation. This has to do with the shedding of the skin. I'm hearing a rebirth, a rebirth, a rebirth. But I feel like this has to do with cycling out. So some of you all are definitely closing cycles. I feel like, especially cycles that they they have this sense of, uh, I'm sorry, y'all. You know how you wash your clothes and then you freshly take it out the dryer and that shit be just fitting real funny. But you got shit to do, so you just throw it on. And I took a shower and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Listen, <laughs> going through it over here, y'all. Forgive me, okay? For some of y'all, there will be clarity coming in the situation where you feel as if it, I'm hearing unfinished business. So some of you all, there's this sense of unfinished business and you got you guys are making major decisions as well. For some of you all, this has to be with moving away from a job. I'm hearing toxic energy at the workplace. OK, so some of you all, um, some of y'all are tired of being, I heard, belittled. Also, you may have a boss who could be a Scorpio or an Aquarius person. Also a Gemini or a Taurus. Somebody's boss has their own sense of insecurities. They're intimidated by just how dope you are, Sage. And I feel like this person, there's this sense of um, like a crab. And it could also be a cancer because I heard a crab in a bucket, okay? So for some of you all, there could be issues around a boss or a public figure. And for some of you all, I feel like somebody is going down and it's their own fucking karma, but they're trying to take you down with them, Sag. But for some of you all, I'm actually hearing secret weapons. Some of y'all been holding on to some information regarding this situation or regarding this individual. Some of y'all coming through on the motherfucker like, surprise, surprise, bitch. You thought it, huh? So you thought. No, sir. No, ma'am. No fucking Marie or Bob. You got me fucked up. You're not going to roll on me like this, okay? Yeah, sadly, somebody tried to throw you under the bus. Somebody trying to throw you under the bus this month of uh, this month of November. For some of you, I almost said September. So for some of you all, this could have actually been something that is a continuation of something that occurred in September. This could also be the energy that one possibly didn't move on, or like I'm, I'm also hearing revisited opportunities, opportunities being revisited for some of you all. So if you thought that you missed out on the opportunity, you're going to be finding out in this mid month of. Um, Mid month at the end of October, going into uh, November or shit, we here now, okay? In November, that an opportunity comes back around for you. You didn't miss out on the opportunity. I feel like this is more so about the potential of growth or spirit intervening to allow. I'm hearing both parties to grow, to transform. I also heard ego death. Some of you all are going through a death of the ego. You may feel as if you have to surrender more than you like for some of you all this has to do with the sense of you guys overworking and spirit is kind of giving you like the green light like hey stay sad chill the fuck out sit down somewhere you're doing too much blessings are coming for some of you all there's a need also for y'all not to be overextending y'all energy this is a time of plan of, of planning strategizing and this has to do with momentum moving forward okay and how you're going to go about it. I feel like there's a need for you all to restructure your strategy. Okay. In your subconscious space, you guys, I pulled two cards for you all. I got the lovers and I got the uh, the possibilities card. Okay. So for some of you all, this has to do with travel. Some of you all could also be receiving an offer to travel. For others of you, you have someone who's also coming to travel to see you. This person could already be involved in some type of partnership, but this is you have you guys have some type of divine partnership. It's infinite, baby. Look at the perfection. The alchemy that's happening here. For others of you, you may be also getting into this uh getting into a sense of like um some of y'all may be very, very, very heavily um influenced or very interested into the aspect of like quantum physics during this time also like metaphysics some of you all are digging deeper when it comes to the art of astral projection some of you all are also discovering that your mediums and some of you all are also discovering that your children are very gifted especially if you have a water sign or a fire sign child for some of you all it's a Libra or a Gemini child 
For the Sagittarius man who has not seen, um, maybe you have been away from your children, been away from your family for quite some time. For some of you all, this could have to do with the Gemini. Some of y'all could be connecting with your children on an astral plane. Or the children could be like this sense of mending fences in a soulmate relationship or some type of divine union. And for some of you all, you need this is about you remaining positive while in this sense of feeling. Hmm, you remaining positive when it seems as if all the odds are against you, baby. For some of you all, this new moon in Scorpio is going to be, I'm hearing the birthing, the birthing, the birthing of new consciousness for some of you all. Some of you all also are holding on to esoteric information. There's a need for you to share. You call, you're being called, I heard you're being called to your throne. You're being called to your throne, Sag. And for some of you all, there's this need for you to know that you are spiritually protected. The Most High is guiding you. And assisting you in your movement forward. You don't need to worry about the things that you cannot control. Just have the willing, the willingness and that will to move forward. I'm hearing that will, it's a strong will to move forward. For some of you all in the past, people could have been trying to block this particular union, block this movement, block this blessing. I do feel that, um, baby, you're going to be untouchable during this time. Spirit truly has your back. All right. For some of you all, this is regarding the movement forward. And you guys, I feel like something is coming to fruition, whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest when it comes to matters of the heart, for some of you all, you've manifested your life partner, and there's this sense of fear, or there's this sense of shedding that need to control how things move forward, and just go with the flow, create this flow, this flow is being created through divine intervention, they want you to just go with the flow, okay, for some of you all, this has to do with the Gemini on fire, okay, let's dig deeper, spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius? From October the 30th to November the 15th. What messages do you have from my Sagittarius? Oh, from October 30th to November 15th. I love General, et cetera. Summer rising Venus, that's what the cross watches for Sagittarius from October the 30th. Okay, so for some of you all, there could have been conflicts, okay? There could have been some type of endings around, some type of family dynamic, possibly. Um, with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you all, you're internally conflicted on how to move a situation after this sense, uh, yeah, after a major, after some type of major betrayal, okay? This had, this could have had to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you all, in order to fix a situation in, uh, involving family, you're going to possibly have to walk away from someone who you, who you could be committed to. And for some of you all, this also has to do with secrets being unveiled. For those of you who was dealing with a Pisces, okay? This also could have to do with the situation that was stagnant in the past. You're indecisive on if you want to completely move away from it or if you want to go claim. I'm hearing claim was yours. For some of you all, there could be this, this, some type of reconciliation could cause an uproar around family and friends. So there's a need for you guys to keep your move silent during this time. Others of you, you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You can have a family with this person, okay? I do feel as if some of y'all may, may have been in this state of kind of feeling like things weren't going anywhere. And for some of you all, you're fighting a new connection possibly with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius because you haven't internally walked away from. For some of you all, you expect disappointment, which is why you keep manifesting it in love. There's this need for you all to truly allow yourself to heal and shed this skin, Sag. Shed the belief that things won't work. Move completely away from the past or the idea of what once was, of what once was in the past. Because for some of you all, I see that you're going to find out that you're worrying for nothing. Someone does not want to fight. They want fulfillment. And I feel that you want the same thing, but there's a need for you all to drop this damn defensive energy, okay? Again, going with the flow here. Some of you all could definitely be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well that you could have a, a child with, okay? Some of you all, this could be the sign of Cancer. Some of y'all are being very defensive towards the Cancer. For some of y'all, this has to do, some of y'all could have, I'm hearing, some of y'all are finding out that somebody was trying to do some type of uh, spiritual work on you to keep things stagnant. For some of you all, this, this could be revealed in a dream to you. For some of you all, this could also be a female, some type of third party or a karmic partner when it comes to your divine masculine or your divine feminine, okay? 
Yeah. For some of you all, you feel as if, some of y'all feel as if, it's like you're becoming defensive. You need to drop the defenses, okay? Or some of you all are fearing someone being defensive, which is why you're not moving forward towards them or this person's not moving forward towards you. Somebody's afraid of being rejected here. This could be the mother or father of your children. For some of you all, this could also be a Capricorn towards Virgo. Things could things could be on a standstill with that due to somebody being defensive toward the union because somebody has a fucking drinking problem here. And I picked that up before on y'all. Some of you all, hmm, for some of you all, there could be some type of, I heard verdict. Some of y'all could be waiting on some, a particular verdict when it comes to an outside child or a child outside a relationship or that was made outside of it or within a relationship. Somebody's mistress or missus getting found out this this uh this mid month of November, honey. Okay, for some of you all, you there's a need for you to trust your intuition when it comes to dealing with the Leo, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as well, especially when it's involving something involving a child here. Okay, or someone may intuitively know Sagittarius, or you may intuitively know um that someone could have some type of outside family. Some of y'all could be finding out that somebody who you was dealing with had a whole family on the outside. And this is why the situation was stagnant. This is why this person moved away and left you in this space of um, confusion, not really knowing what the fuck was moving. I feel like you, I feel like this person was kind of being defensive. Whoever was being defensive towards moving things forward, they, you could recently, you could be finding out that this person could have separated from a family dynamic. If somebody told you that they was going to leave a wife or a partner, sad, are you going to, some of y'all going to be finding out that this person really fucking did it after you moved away from this individual. But you're ready to end the damn cycle, okay? For some of you all, there could be some type of end of a karmic cycle or some type of soul contract or karmic. Hold on. Karmic energy around a soul contact. Contact. Contract is coming to an end, especially if it's involving an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Scorpio. For some of you all, you could be dealing with the sign of Scorpio. They could be having this reconciliation energy coming in, this Mercury retrograde energy. Someone could be coming back for your partner from your past in the midst of you guys having issues. I feel like this is a catalyst situation for you guys to close out a cycle that's karmic to move to something that is actually more um, more divinely orchestrated than what I'm seeing. Some of you all are completely moving away from a Capricorn during this time. Some of you all, you have a Capricorn that wants to come and see you and transform a situation, but you really want to lay the whole, the sad you want to throw the whole situation shit the fuck away. You're recognizing the lessons out of it, what it taught you. And this is, this is assisting you in your movement forward and trusting what the possibilities of what you can have. Somebody, some of y'all, as soon as you move away from this damn Capricorn, for some of y'all, it's a Pisces, for some of y'all, it's a damn Cancer, others of you, it's a Virgo, and some of y'all, it's a damn Aquarius. It's like someone is assuming the worst. So there's a conversation that's being avoided or that has been avoided, but I see it coming the fuck out during this time. Things that were hidden will be illuminated to you all. Some of you guys could also be traveling in the healer situation with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, after this sense of betrayal could have occurred, or this person, you. For some of you all, you being called... You're being called to kind of read, not not really like, because some of you all may be triggered from, some of y'all may be triggered by a situation returning from the past. This could involve a Leo, an Aries, an Aquarius, um, Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, Libra, Pisces is here. I feel like this is some type of resurrection to a family situation. And for some of you all, this is about you being real with what it is that you want. Some of y'all are discovering that you, that monogamy just don't work for you that well. Some of you all may be opening up to a partner, to someone new. And, um, or maybe somebody's trying to invite you in a polygamous relationship, Sag. And at first you were kind of like, hell no. Nah. But some of y'all are open to it. Or some of you all are finding that you're open to it because you can't really like fight this connection with this person. For some of you all, if you were having any type of financial struggles, I do see that coming to an end. Come on now, with this in this first half of November. Some of you all have a brand spanking new opportunity, but there's there's this sense of being afraid to let go of what you know. Some of you all are afraid of your evolving. 
because it's not comfortable and it doesn't put you in this seat of control. Mm -hmm. I do feel that after some type of secret is revealed, and this could have to do with children, Sag, because some of y'all just have to do with someone else's children. Somebody, some of y'all could be finding out that you and somebody could have recently reconciled in the month of September around here, and that's why September was important. Some of y'all could have reconciled in the month of September and in the month of October. You find out that this person had a whole fucking family, kids and shit elsewhere. They could have told you that they walked away from a union. For some of y'all, they walked right the fuck back into it. And got stabbed in the back by that bitch Kyle Karma because of how they did you. So now this person is knowing. Somebody didn't want to acknowledge a connection at first as well. They could have turned to like substances. Somebody could have been drinking, smoking. I mean, he's been seeing cocaine here. No, no, no judging. I don't do no, no, but I see cocaine in the building. Okay. Somebody been getting high, high just to cover up the pain of what they're, what they, how can I put this? Some of you all, there was some type of hurtful situation in the past, and I feel like the other person, either you or the other person, Sag, now feels, feels what they've done to another person, and they want to come back and fix it. For some of y'all, either you or another person, you don't know how. For some of you all, you want to make a very solid offer, or someone wants to come back and make a solid offer to you, but they expect conflict, which is what's keeping them still. Because they really don't know how. For some of y'all, this person can come back and give you some damn money. Because they don't really know how to tell you I'm sorry. This could be a Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of y'all are freeing yourself from a situation with an earth sign. Because you feel as if your finances have been affected enough. You're tired of settling. You want you want more. And Spirit is saying, you can get, you're going to get more. It's up to you to make this decision. To release what is not aligned with the energy in which you're wanting and you're desiring. For some of you all, if you had, a, if you was dealing with a Taurus that had commitment issues, this person is watching. Some of y'all dealing with an air sign that is stalking you as fuck. Are you stalking this person and watching? This person could have recently went back to a family situation or went back to some type of commitment. But some of y'all, this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Earth sign. <clears throat> some of you all could also be dealing with legalities. I feel like this has to do. I heard compromises. For Sag men, you may be putting yourself on child support. During this time, to be able to freely have some type of custody or custody, like some type of rights to see a child. For some of you all, you're losing hope when it comes to investing in a relationship, possibly with a Taurus, an Aqua, a Leo, or a Scorpio, due to the fact that this person, I feel like this person can give more to the relationship. Or some of y'all feel financially responsible for someone, so you feel as if you can't not move forward and go be happy. Some of y'all feel obligated to, to give into a situation because you have children with this person. The Spirit is saying you're going into a whole new cycle of your life, baby. And for some of y'all, you're afraid to take that leap of faith. It's having something, to do, some, some, something about self-esteem issues. Some of you guys may have told yourself that you can't. There's a need for you all to, uh, there's a need for y'all to stop accepting the worst before you even take a chance on your damn self. How are you going to expect somebody else to invest in you, baby, and you're not willing to give yourself that? That's something to think about, my babies, all right? For some of you all, I'll come, though, I do see you guys having the career to take take lead in the situation, especially if it's involving a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or some type of clarity that needs to be had in the situation. I feel like some of y'all, an uproar has to happen before the beauty of before the beauty can come out of a situation, because I feel like this sense of avoidance with both parties happening in the past. For some of y'all, you haven't addressed this situation. For some of y'all, it's been two years, four years. 10 years, I'm even hearing 15 fucking years, someone's coming, literally someone is resurrecting in your life, saying they want to talk, they want to fix it, they're tired of standing on the outside looking in, they want to come back in and give it a shot, this person has had some type of revelation, some of y'all could also be seen 11-11 during this time, you guys are moving forward, to, to, moving forward towards new beginnings. New beginnings. For some of y'all, this has to do with travel. Some of y'all may up and literally move to a whole other city or state. For some of you all, there's some there's a need. Some of y'all keep hearing time. Some of y'all could be finding out that you're dealing with a fire sign that may be moving to another city or state and you want to reconcile with this person. Trust in the possibilities of what can be. For some of you all, this is what occurred in the past life. 
in a past life someone or in the past somebody could have just been focused on their options and focused on material things but now someone sees the love in the situation and it's stressing them the fuck out because they don't really have the know-how to fix it sad but they really want to all right so let's see, let me get an angel message for you guys to close things out. I do feel the advice here would be to get out of your head. This could be involving a tourist or an Aries person. This could also be involving starting your own business. Spirit is saying you're overthinking the situation. Really stop and really strategize the proper way to go about things. Because you carrying everything at one time and stressing you the fuck out, okay? If there was any type of paternity issues that y'all was dealing with, I do see that being clarified or that being rectified this first half of November. That was for somebody. They wanted me to touch on it. Spirit, what message do you have for my Sagittarius? Close the message. Okay. Yes, bitch. Gifts from God. Archangel Sandipal. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Do y'all see that big ass cup? Spirit says, Sag, I've been saving this big ass cup for you. I need you to trust the divine guidance that you're receiving. I need you to trust the messages that you're receiving within that crown chakra. I need you to write your damn dreams down and pay attention to the synchronicities around them damn dreams. Because I'm trying to put your blessing in your face, but you you refusing to stay in this place of overthinking shit versus picking your damn head up to see, look up, Sag, to see the possibilities. And from this very moment, look the fuck up and don't let nobody else. Have that much power over your life to make you feel less than down and feel as if you gotta fucking adapt or accommodate they fucking energies for you to be in that world with them. You start asking your fucking self, do they, can they sit with me, bitch? Cause I got big ass cups over here. Okay? Take the big ass cups, Sag. You have nothing to fear. Alright? So that's what I have for you guys from October 30th to November the 15th, you guys. Let me know how it resonates in the comments. I love you all a long time. And thank you in advance, y'all, for all that love y'all going to show me. Because, listen, y'all be showing out. Love y'all, my babies. Peace, love, light, namaste. And I'll see you guys back here for me. Tonight.